Jerry at Fair Oaks. Some water there, Corporal. Yes, sir. Oh, not you, Dugan. Come on, young, get going. Little Aqua Pura up this way. Okay, General. Here you are. Chad. Hey. <laughs> hey, for the love of Mike, hey, what's the idea? I'm water corporal here at this table. Oh, no, you're not, Jerry. Well, I don't know why not. Hey, what's this all about? I'm still the newest cadet here at this table. Yeah, sure, you're the newest cadet, but you're not going to serve water to the rest of these punks. Not while Lauren Sylvester Young is around, no, sir. Lauren Sylvester. Hey, is that your name, Tubby? Yes, sir. That's the old cognomen. <laughs> Want to make something of it? <laughs> no, of course not, but I've just never heard it before, that's all. Lauren Sylvester, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lee, what's this all about? I, I thought I was water corporal at this table. Oh, don't you get it, Jerry? The fellas are just trying to show you what they think of your winning the riding meet with Edson today. Me? Say. Yeah, I know what you're going to say, but oh, after all, you were leading the team today. And you were the one who led that last jump. The one event that finally cinched the whole meet for Pharaoh. Oh, yeah, I get it, huh? Me, huh? Sure. Uh, uh, hey, uh, Cadet Young. Yes, sir, Cadet Dugan. I'll have some more water, too, if you please. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm at you, sir, <laughs> Cadet Dugan. <laughs> hey, pipe down, everybody. Oh, pipe down, come on. Sergeant Alden's going to speak now. All right. Come on, hey, come on. Quiet. 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 All right, men. All right, quiet, please. Well... This is a great day for Fair Oaks, isn't it? You bet it is. Yes, sir. I know that this is the day that most of you have been waiting to see. A day when the name of Fair Oaks Military Academy finally will be inscribed on the fifth and last gold plate on the Hunter Craig Trophy for the riding meet between Edson Military Institute and our own alma mater. I know. I know that we're all very sorry that the Edson team couldn't be with us this evening to celebrate. But the... <laughs> quiet, men. Quiet, please. But we are glad to have at least one representative of the Edson team with us. An Edson cadet who was able to stay over just tonight. The captain of the Edson team, Cadet Major Patterson. <laughs> Thank you, fellas. Well, I... I guess we kind of took a beating today, didn't we? You bet we... You <laughs> did. <laughs> you <laughs> Tommy, cut it out. Well, you certainly earned your victory. And on behalf of my team, and on behalf of all the Edson riding teams who have ridden to win that trophy before this, I congratulate you. There will certainly be another award waiting for us next year. And let me tell you right now, although Fair Oaks has won the Hunter Craig Trophy as a permanent possession, Edson will be ready to fight for whatever trophy is up next year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Major Patterson. I know that the entire student body of Fair Oaks is happy that you've been able to stay over and be with us this evening. Although it is celebrating the defeat of your alma mater, you've proved the value of good sportsmanship by remaining here in Fair Oaks and extending to your opponents your congratulations. All right, men. Now, I know that some of you recognize the man who is sitting here on my right. Some of you have never seen him before. But when I introduce him to you, well, men, I know you're going to realize why he's come more than a thousand miles to be here this evening with us. And why he came all that distance to be here at Fair Oaks at the riding meet this afternoon. Cadets of Fair Oaks Military Academy, I take the greatest of pleasure in introducing to you 
a former Fair Oaks cadet, a former fellow student, Coach Donald Craig. Fellow cadets. Thank you, fellas. Well, I must say it's a greater honor for me to have been here today and to be here tonight than it is for you to have to feed me at this wonderful dinner. Well, it's been a long time since I've had my name mentioned in this hall. It's been a long time since I've even been here. We who have been graduated from FMA don't have the opportunity to return to our alma mater very often. But when we do, believe me, we do enjoy it. <laughs> well, fellas, I don't want to go into a lot of ancient history, but as you know, Captain Hunter left us a few years ago to obey greater commands than he could know here on Earth. Before he died, though, Howard and I decided we'd like to make a contribution toward the good-spirited rivalry between Edson and Fair Oaks by offering a trophy to be placed into competition between the two schools. <coughs> As you also know, up to this year, Fair Oaks has won the trophy twice and Edson has won it thrice. Now, just this afternoon, the riding team of Fair Oaks Military Academy has won the Hunter Craig Trophy for the third time placing this plaque forever within the trophy cabinet in Custis Hall. My congratulations to the Fair Oaks riding team, and may I add the congratulations of him who cannot be here tonight, Captain Howard Hunter. All right, fellas. In honor of Coach Don Craig and Captain Hunter, the Fair Oaks alma mater. <laughs> Howard Hunter is listening tonight, he'll appreciate your singing of our alma mater, and also the fact that I'm able to be here tonight to present to your honorary captain, Paul Warren, the Hunter Craig Trophy. All right, Paul. Thank you, Coach Craig. And on behalf of Fair Oaks, I accept the permanent award of the Hunter Craig Trophy. But there's a cadet here tonight who I think ought to really accept this plaque for us. Because it was he who led our team to victory today. He wasn't able to ride the horse he trained on, and he had to ride a horse he'd only had a half day to practice on. But still, he went out today and led Fair Oaks to win the Hunter Craig Trophy. Although he's just a plebe here at FMA, I know we're glad to honor him tonight. Cadets, here's to Jerry Dugan. <laughs> All right, Juggin, you want to make a reply? Well, I, I think it might be a better idea. I mean, well, after all, it, it was a horse that carried me over that last earth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Juggin, all right. Thanks. And I think we all know exactly how you feel. Now, cadets of Fair Oaks, I know that some of you have met a gentleman who was a visitor here at Fair Oaks for the first time and who has shown such an interest in this particular athletic event on our campus. It isn't very peculiar to me that he has shown this interest, because, after all, he's been a friend of one of the stellar members of our riding team for quite some time. Of course, I think you know who I mean. He's been beaming and smiling up here at this table all through dinner, and I know you're going to be very, very interested in what he has to say. I mean, of course, Jerry Dugan's former employer and guardian the owner of Randall Brothers' Greater Circus, Mr. Sam Randall. Thank you, Sergeant. Well, boys, uh, 
This is kind of new to me, but uh, I'll do my best to tell you what I have in mind. Fair Oaks has won the Hunter Craig Trophy for the last time. You're going to keep it here at Fair Oaks for all time to come. But, well, you're, you're going to have to fight for something in the future. And, uh, well, I, I'd like the privilege of offering a trophy for competition between Fair Oaks Military Academy and Edson Military Institute in future riding meets. It will uh, it'll be a facsimile of the Hunter Craig Trophy. And if it's all right with you... I'd like you to call it by the same name, the Hunter Craig Trophy. Okay, boys? Yeah! Well, fellows, fellows, I know that we all feel the same way toward thanking Mr. Randall. And I know you'll all agree with me that this has been a great day for Fair Oaks. And now, now to end our celebration, I'm going to ask Ed Dixon to lead us in a Fair Oaks yell. All right, Ed. All right, gang, let's have the locomotive. Hello, Mark Antony. What do you mean, Mark Antony? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, you made such a swell speech tonight, accepting the trophy. Oh, cut it out, Lee. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything to say. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> yeah, I should think a swell horseman like you could have thought of something to say. Oh, yeah? Say, it's a good thing I thought of something, is that dumb horse of mine almost didn't go over that last jump. Didn't go over the last jump? Hey, what do you mean? That's what I mean. Lee, Tubby, when Blue Comet... That's the name of the horse. Yeah. When Blue Comet almost didn't go over that last hurdle, I, I pretended I was pulling him in. You, you mean that you didn't really pull him in? Uh -uh, of course not. I, I just pretended. And then I had them raise the hurdle a foot higher, because I knew if we lost on that last hurdle, we'd have only tied anyway. And, well, if we won, well, we'd win the whole meet. Well, that was logical, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but... That, that was logic. Yeah, the same kind of logic Max says you've got. Well, what, what do you mean? <laughs> Irish logic, my friend. Irish logic. 